two matches to go but the whole season is still in the balance both Chelsea and Huddersfield know that to a large extent the last nine months will be judged on distance tantalizingly close can they take a point and make a point to all of those who wrote them off that's Piliqueta and Rudiger somehow hasn't steered it in I think you're best viewing of this that Rudiger must be that far offside hence the reason he's got that much time and space my word that is close and if you're a Huddersfield Town player fan manager you're absolutely thanking your lucky stars at that. No foul on Van Lepara. Conte and Morata has turned. He's got past Lursel. The angle very tight. There's nobody there to follow up. Got himself to a position where he had to pull it back rather than go for goal. You've got a feel for Huddersfield. Van Lepara quite clearly not foul. Just goes to ground. In times he runs to perfection, Morata. Lursel probably just does enough to force him wide. No shortage of players for Willian to aim at. Space to aim for them as well. And they really should have done better. Rudiger knows it. It's the best ball that's put into the... You know what it's like from a set piece. A really dangerous area. I think Huddersfield Town presuming that he's going to be offside when the ball reaches him. Rudiger gets it all wrong, sends it flying over Lurzel's bar. Here's Lerva. Now William wins it back away from Hogg. Oh, Schindler that did well to stop him. Moy clipping it forward. And De Poitre will chase. Now Caballero, it's De Poitre. It is 1-0 to Huddersfield. Is that the goal that keeps them in the Premier League? An enormous moment for Huddersfield Town. Laurent de Poitre hasn't had too many notable contributions in his time at Huddersfield, but that is a huge one. It's just that bit of belief, isn't it? Chris Lerva chest Willian all the way back. It's Schindler that wins it well. Looks to play on the shoulder, de Poitre quite clearly on side. Aaron Moy is always going to find him, but then it's Bray from de Poitre. He knows that Willie Caballero is going to come and attempt to clean him out. But as we said in the first half, these little brief forays forward keep them in the game, keep the belief in Huddersfield Town in this game. Completely wipes out the goalkeeper because he's a man mountain de Poitre and shows the calmness of thought, the composure to be able to beat Rudiger on the line. How big could that be? Well, this was the challenge upfield. It was the uh, precursor to that move. Was it a foul on Willian? Chelsea thought so. Willian still on the deck when the ball went in. Decisions to make. This was the first one. Was it a foul on Willian? There's a, again, like I said, an, a, an area for debate. I think you were asking about the high boot from Depotra. Look how high Willie Caballero's come out. If he makes contact with Depotra, which he does, completely wipes him out. I mean, perhaps there's a question mark. Does it send Caballero over into De Poitre? But so often we see those coming together with the goalkeeper. The referee's got his whistle in his mouth before contact's been made with the goalkeeper. It's even the reaction of the Huddersfield players and fans. They don't care one jot at this moment in time. Fabregas. Aspilicueta has got so much room now. Drills it in. It's missed everybody and deflected in a freak equaliser. Marcus Alonso. Ties it up at 1-1, and all of Huddersfield's hard work evaporates after a freakish equaliser. They're still in the box seat at the moment to stay up tonight, but the advantage... They have been under intense pressure. This ball out to the right-hand side has been on every single time that Fabregas has got the ball. They might have had a stroke of luck with the goal that they scored at the other end, but it's gone completely against them with the equaliser. Which is their ninth without reply in the match. Alonso, Rudiger couldn't get hold of it. Christensen in there, a real scramble. Rudiger can't bundle it towards goal. Christensen with the header, Lussell and the post. 
both come to Huddersfield's rescue. How did that not go in? And now play will stop as Huddersfield have a player down with a head injury. And the Chelsea players look to the heavens. A passage of play. Make Huddersfield believe this is their night. This is absolutely unbelievable. It's Lursel's fingertips that divert this towards the post. Every single Huddersfield player throwing themselves in front of the ball, trying to get somewhere near it to clear it out. It's a staggering passage of play. You felt, to all intents and purposes, that it was going to be the net bulging from a Chelsea point of view. And it's the end of his gloves, isn't it, Lursel? On the ball, which diverts it toward the post. Look at that. Talk about drama, talk about emotion. They'll be just about in the 90th minute. Chelsea not quite panicking, but not too far short. It's Maratta straight at Lursel. Ice cold, do not it? <laughs> Alonso. Well, the substitutions and the time wasting will definitely be taken into account. We understand there could be six extra minutes. Fabregas pulled back. Another shot towards goal. Maratta, Giroud, everybody in there. Nobody can get the touch that was necessary. One almost feels at times that Chelsea are getting in each other's way when it comes to the most important touch of the ball. In time have elapsed. Within those six minutes, a stoppage of play when Hogg received treatment. Mission impossible achieved. Huddersfield Town retain their Premier League status. An extraordinary, absorbing second half. They've got the point they needed. What a way to secure safety. A draw at Manchester City. And having drawn at this season's champions, they've drawn away to last season's champions as well. Mathematical big broad grin on his face. Huddersfield Town for now to hold on, and there were some very, very nervy moments. But this is something that those Huddersfield Town fans will never forget. What a journey.